an INTP is actually pretty rare within our society. Only 3.3% of the total population is an INTP. However, they tend to be quiet, but underneath their quiet exterior, they really are skeptics. They're really interested in new ideas and they really don't care for parties and especially don't really have any interest in small talk. They can, however, be very talkative about a topic that they've recently studied and their logic really is capable of cutting right to the core of any problem whatsoever. When we look at an INTP, we can see that they like a learning style that's very individualized. They're independent. They don't like a set beginning or a set end. They like to follow their interests in depth. And they don't like it when someone says, this is all the time you get to really study this. They like broad, conceptual, interesting information and anything that's really going to challenge their intellect. They're very intensely curious. They are global learners. They're abstract learners. They're able to really understand theories and any kind of underlying principles very quickly. They get so absorbed in what they're doing and their reading or research that they will actually forget time. They forget people. And what's really interesting is that when someone did a poll on college campuses for INTP types, these people, these personalities reported that they will spend an extra three to nine hours a week of non-required reading in order to really understand what they are learning. So some tips for an INTP is remember that you're very independent and you like to work alone and you really enjoy that time alone, but don't forget that you can get some really valuable feedback from working in groups and it can really help you to see a different point of view that you may have forgotten or didn't realize. However, really be sure to get to know some group members so that you can have some respect for them. Help them to really know who you are and ask Ask them who they are. Be sure that you create a variety of questions. Record your questions as you're learning. Write in the corners of your books, your notes, whatever, and make sure that you also take some time, one-on-one -on -one time, with your instructor. You may even want to go to office hours or meet with your instructor before or after class and ask them if it's possible that they could put in a little bit of a Q&A time during class because you may not be the only person who's interested in asking some questions. Be sure that you brainstorm, generate some ideas. There are wonderful places where you can find more information and learn things more in depth. And also, be sure that you look into the options of using a learning journal. Another thing is remember that since you learn information very quickly, and not only that, but you want to be able to dive more in depth into things, that sometimes you're going to find some very wasted class time. So create a reservoir of methodologies and activities that can keep yourself and your mind busy during those wasted times. This is really going to aid your learning process and help you to not be irritated because the more irritated and frustrated that you get, the more that's going to distract from your learning. So some idea of some methodologies and activities. As you're listening to a lecture or someone talking, write down questions. Make sure that you keep about a quarter to a third of the edge of your paper of your notes where you can write down extra things. And so put down questions. How does this relate to today? How can I use this? Where can I find more information? Who is the originator of this? Questions such as this, don't forget your who, what, where, when, why, and how. Also, then look around and see what other people are doing in your classroom. How are they entertaining themselves in regards to the learning situation? Someone's playing video games on their cell phone. That's not really going to be helpful to you. But making sure that you see how other people are using their time. Also, when you're studying in those group sessions, ask people, what are you doing? How do you handle it when you feel like it's just too much and you need something else to do during those class times where it just lags? Some other wonderful study tips is remember to look for applications for your new knowledge. You love applications because INTPs are great problem solvers because you're stimulated by ideas and focusing on those abstract applications, looking for patterns. You love patterns. And because of that, so you may 
absolutely and at times overlook some details. So one of the things I do with my students for INTPs is I challenge them. Go to YouTube, go to the internet, Google this, see what you find, and then bring it back. I want to know what you are learning. Tell me what you're learning. I have learned a lot from my students who are INTPs. Remember also that since you love that really deep analytical information, that you can make those connections between a real world application and classroom application very quickly. So don't forget to really research that and use your logic and your analytical thinking to really enjoy your learning experience.